Hi, I'm Belle Danny. Welcome back to Weenie Plays Amnesia. Here we go. We have everything we need, as far as I'm aware. Except for, like some shrugs of dignity. I say shrugs. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's just one of those. Um, okay. Cells. Cell kind of runs with hell. You know what I'm getting at? Alright. Is there anything else in here I can light? Chill. That was a little bit stressful. I need just a moment. I feel like there was something I was going to say before that happened. Oh well. Why is that swaying? Are you hungry? What's this? Tonight, we will unlock the power of the orb and ultimately banish the shadow hunting me. I feel it closing in on me and I fear for my life more than ever. Just outside Altstadt lies a small settlement where Zimmerman, a dairy farm, lives with his wife and three children. visit was unexpected, and Alexander was able to strike Zimmerman down without alerting the other. As he went to take care of the farmhands, I began to look for the children. What? What? We should have more than enough prisoners to finish the ritual now. Don't much like that. I'd like to imagine that if I had to choose between my life and kidnapping, torturing, and killing dozens of random people, I would just kind of like, you know, take one for the team. That's what I'd like to imagine. So why are you here? I was gonna say, is this guy really? Is that? Oh, all the way down. Why does he think he deserves to live at this point? Whatever. You think we should try putting something on there again? There's a big monster down there. Let's give him a bucket of tar. Iron bar? Why? We already have 
Should not try. Yeah, okay. This is almost always here for some reason. There's gotta be something. I'm not afraid of using oil this time because I actually have some backup oil. It's been a while. Okay, here we are. Sorry for the mess. I don't see anything. Are we super crazy right now? Huh? Oh, we're actually doing alright. It feels so slow though. Maybe there's something in this room too. That rock? <laughs> For you! <laughs> I'm gonna try attaching everything I have to the string. I don't, I don't know. Piece of board. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not my blood. I don't know what we would feed it. I need this. I need this. And that. Yes. Yeah, Let's just put it all the way back down again. Just in case we pull something up instead of lowering something. That's why we're trying. Hmm. He's hungry. That's a shame, buddy. Alright. Why are we so slow? Have we always been this slow? Helps a lot, thanks. Is that sunlight? Huh. Oh yeah. Good thing we have a billion of these still. Six is now a billion, okay. Shoot. Gotta do something with that well. Huh. So did I already miss whatever it is I'm supposed to do? You think I'm supposed to be able to get down here at some point? Somehow? Clear that in some way. Thanks for the rock. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Can I have this? Yes. Rock number two. We're just gonna stage it. Boop. Okay. I don't know what to give you, buddy. Something somewhere. It's not through there. Trust me. It's not through there. Is there more meat somewhere? And why am I going so crazy still? Do you think I should try jumping in? <laughs> Can I move this table? Nah. Something under the table? Excuse me. 
I guess I didn't literally try everything. Okay. I feel so far away from it. Maybe I can throw a rock at that layer. Um, shoot, what is it? Diaphragm? No. What is the word for a membrane? It's like a membrane of gunk on this well. We could try throwing a rock through it. Good effort. Is that a rock underneath it? Um, tar. Maybe I'll get back to you guys when I have an idea of what to do. Yeah. so I can get back across. Now that's dark. Oh wait. Do you realize where we are? I, I just realized where we are. Look. That was the laboratory door we weren't able to get through before, right? I have to prove a point. I need to go look for the sign. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Wait, was it on the previous one? Right? One, two, three. That's the door that was blocked. That was blocked. Laboratory's the other way. But you get it. stop us, chased us when we got out, but we made it back here anyway. So Agrippa's still down here, huh? Oh my, things have gotten pretty bad. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is the room that says, <gasps> it's open. Ew. We can do it now. First things first. Is there anywhere to hide? In case I have to. I probably won't have to. Agrippa's like right over there. And it'd be weird to have something chase me when there's an NPC nearby. Okay. Okay, still makes me nervous. But that's that. Tender box. Anything here that I might need? Boop. Cool. Anything I just can't has? Okay, anyway. Do I want to put it here? I'm cooking the blood. What about cooking it?
Essence of poison gland. The heating the gland will not start the poison. Okay. Essence of goop. Any moisture will get cooked out into the air. And it'll um condense in here and drip in. I don't know, just like something out. So I'm gonna grind the bone here. Question mark. <clears throat> Should I put this underneath now? Um, do I need to actually click the... Okay. Okay, never mind. I thought I'd lost you. The castle crumbled and I could hear the chancel collapse. Chancel. The laboratory might be accessible now. What happened there? The you did it. Thank goodness. Yeah, it was accessible. Now, pay attention. First, feed me the tonic, and then use the saw to remove my head. As the tonic begins to arrive, you'll be able to cut off my head without taking my life. Then, take my head and bring it with you. As you enter the gate, Alexander is opening it in the same. What do you mean? Why wouldn't you enter the gate? We can't argue now. You need to act. The saw? You're a good boy, Dad. And I appreciate your company. But I believe you have more important things to take care of. Well, dude. Okay. What is this saw? Oof, that's fresh looking. What happened here? Holy cow. Do I know this room? Uh. That's awful suspicious, to be honest. Um. Is this that room I struggled to find in the dark once upon a time? In the spoopy cells? I don't have this saw he's talking about. He's so shiny. <gasps> I don't know if I'm gonna need a squeamish alert you here. You should hurry, Daniel. No time for sitting around. You guys have had ample warning. Okay. Bottoms up, bro. I don't know he was about to talk. I'm really sorry for cutting him off there. He was gonna tell me one last thing. Now he doesn't have a voice box. <laughs> He's not dead. He's just ahead, but he sure is not dead. Please, please. Should I top off? Yeah. Boink. Top off. Okay. Chancel collapsed, he said? Oh, that's not a trapdoor or anything. That's just pretty. Am I crazy? It's not hitting. Okay. It's a push door.
was even behind there? Will the orb be mended in the little pedestal? Okay, look, before we get there, just in case this is a chase scene, was I supposed to put it together already in inventory? They won't stay together. Okay, I had to make sure. We'll try it in the pedestal, I guess. Or I'm gonna have some big over gritties. That's not an option. We're gonna go for it. Balls out. Yep. <laughs> I thought I made that jump. That hurt quite a bit. Ooh. The machinery. Is there a um lever? That's gonna hurt. Do I pick you up? I thought I had made it. At least they're not leaving me guessing. It's gotta be the one on the right. Is there something machinery related in here? Is this new? Is that? 1839. I cannot believe what I have become. One of the girls escaped and I chased after her all the way upstairs. I hunted her down and... What is her life worth? How many lives can I take before I surrender my own? Sure, I would kill a murderer to save an innocent. But to kill an innocent to save myself? A cold-blooded murderer. That's what I was waiting for. Another song. Boop. Machinery.
IRL, if I was going to put this in here somewhere, it'd be... Like... I don't think there's somewhere for it to... Wait, there's one outside of that, huh? You are awful loud. What's this? Is this oil? May I have this? Uh, I don't think so. Why are you here? You have to be here for some reason. Can I light this? that. I thought he was gonna go this way and I'd sneak behind him. You know what I mean? him to go to the right, obviously. Do you think I just need to wait long enough? He'll, like, come this way, come that way, go that way. You know what I mean? That was horrible. That was almost horrible. Wrong. Chasing you makes it sound like he's right behind you. <gasps> oh, okay, there he is. We're gonna wait for him to turn around. 
I don't see him. Uh, he went all the way down. There's no way I can go down there if he's down there. Did he go in? This is it, guys. I'm not sure if I should say this for another episode or not. So, I may cut here. If there's only like five minutes left of content, ignore that I ever said this. If there's a whole bunch, it'll be another episode. Let's just go see. It's not fair. I'm not to blame. I've been manipulated by that demon. He played my guilty conscience and duped me into facing the shadow alone. That vile, conspiring man. He expects me to meet my death as he steals power beyond imagination. Alexander, I will kill you for what you have done. If only the shadow had caught me in London or Algeria, I wouldn't have to suffer this humiliation. You made me a murderer. A monster. And now, I merely await my death. I am too weak to press on. I can hardly stand as my knees fail me. I cannot see as my eyes are dressed in tears. I am as broken as the men I've tortured. If only I could wipe my fear away. As we did with them. I've got some feelings about these characters. But I don't agree with um, Daniel. I really don't agree with even his mini redemption story or whatever it is. I feel like he plays that being the better man in doing it. I mean, maybe I don't really know. I didn't get exposed to him very much. Only whatever he said to Daniel. At least he hasn't been trying to use a moral justification. I'm not sure what that 
for. <clears throat> oh. I didn't realize this was... Should I be running again? I see him as a villain. I mean, take that with a grain of salt. Noted. Are they all? Do I want to knock these down? Hey, dude, you're Nakies. I'm glad you have. Nakedness is a human concept. I'm trying. Am I supposed to come talk to you? Excuse the weenie shot, guys. Sacrifice won't be forgotten. You will be celebrated forever. That is not what I was going for. I thought I was watching the cinematic. It says continue.
Do I get to retry that ending? Okay. I wanted to put a grippa's head through. I was wondering if you were going to show up. I see a gripper convinced you to run some errands. No, oh. don't do that. So it had to be done I right then. I realize you doubt my intentions. Why would I take such extreme measures to save your life? So I can stop it from opening completely? Maybe I'm saving mine too. I know, dude. What was... I'm gonna just try putting Agrippa's head in every few seconds, like at every stage, because eventually I got to the point where it was about to open. I realized it was actually. Do you see it? A whole other world. I'm gonna have to interrupt him. Oh, isn't it beautiful? I can finally return home. There he is. Do you see him, Vaya? He deserves so much more. Please, help him. I know you can. Don't worry, Daniel. It will be all right. the ending that I wanted. Hmm. The only character that I know much about in this game is Daniel. And I am incredibly judgmental of him. But I don't want to think he's the only villain. So I really don't... Jeez, that's odd. I really don't know much about any of the other characters. to skip to the end of the credits. Wooden pie. Wooden pie. That was one spoopy experience. I'm glad I finally played. I wish I knew more about this other world they were all trying to get to. And it bites that we had to choose only one of them, Agrippa or Alexander. But I'm pleased either way, because both of them happened in my gameplay. So thank you for joining me. If you have any thoughts, you can leave them in the comments. I don't know what I'll be playing next. I'd like to play Skyrim, but I'll have to play around and see how it records. Uh, see you then.